Hey yo, what's up everyone? It's your boy Crisp Purpose back at it again with another Gems of War PvP team video for you guys. Now in this one, are you getting beaten up by Stellarex in PvP? Are you getting trashed by the Wand of Stars in PvP? Now I have a team for you. This team is going to be having Bork 3000. Bork 3000 is a mech beast from Adana with a 12 mana cost of brown and yellow. His spell is Metal Beak. He will deal, as a matter of fact, he will destroy gems. Um, then he will create those three bomb gems. He has for his traits, unstable core, create three bomb gems when I die. Uh, reinforce, he will gain one armor at the start of each turn and armored. He has a 25% skull damage reduction. Secondly, on this team, we're going to be having Kronos. Kronos is an excellent mystic, mythic troop from the Drifting Sands Kingdom with a 24 mana cost of green, red, and purple. His spell is Time Flux. He will deal damage to all enemies, then convert all blue gems to hourglass gems. His traits are Arcane, he will gain one magic when an ally casts a spell. Spell Armor, he will reduce damage from spells by 25%. And Essence of Time, he will enchant all allies when I gain, when I get an extra turn. The Wand of Stars is going to be here on the team as well. We all know this weapon. He will, it has two spells. It has the ability to choose one. Either it will create six elemental stars and then bless all allies, or it will... Um, create seven umbral stars and curse all enemies along with that the weapon has a vital prosperous radiant and curing in the weapon upgrades that final upgrade is a very good one it will cleanse itself every single time you cast this weapon the class of choice here is the elementalist class why because of the final trait on the elementalist class the ability to stun freeze burn and tangle a random enemy when matching four or more gems this is the setup for the talents in the class. We have Snap Free Set, Insulated, Stone Circle, Storms, or a Rock Solid, Lightning Strike, and of course, Fortitude for the final trait. Leprechaun is on the team as well for fast mana, exploding those green gems and giving you a small, small amount of gold. He's empowered, and of course, he has that nature link. The banner of choice on this team is the Fell Banner from the Fell Roast faction. This is a plus two on yellow plus one on purple and we're minus in green you can switch the banner around to whatever you prefer but i'm using this one for now now why is this team useful for protecting yourself against stellar rakes and the wand of stars teams it's it's particularly good because these hourglass gems even if you match them or explode them or destroy them and you get a four plus gem match off of these they bypass freeze right so if you're frozen on yellow it doesn't matter if you're frozen on any other color and you match these gems it does not matter if you explode them it doesn't matter you will still gain an extra turn from these gems it's a very overwhelmingly powerful mechanic in the game and i'm seeing that many players are not utilizing this if stellarex is causing a problem in pvp this is your way around it um, once you got this sucker in the campaign or you picked it up when it popped up into the Soul Forge, this is what you should be using if indeed Stellarex is a problem. Let's see if we can make a good showing of this team on video. And you guys can tell me in the comment section if you guys like this team and if you're going to be using this team for PvP specifically, I should say, specifically in Central Spire because that's where I'm using this. I think that if you're having a problem in PvP, Go to Central Spire. You will do great. Uh, let's get mana to my Bork. Where's mana for Bork? All right, here we go. We're going to match skulls. Good. And now we're going to freeze these suckers up, cast Bork, and see if we can get things rolling here. Um, do we have any alignment? No, we do not. Let's see if we can curse them. There we go. We got it. Can we have a 4-gem match? Nothing, not even a three gem match. All right, let's move some gems around here. There we go. We just need yellow and yellow and blue alignment anywhere, and then we'll make something happen. There we go. We got some alignment. Very good. You just keep on casting this until the enemy has completely been destroyed. And I think you'll be fine if you use this team. As you guys can see, I just use the board to destroy all those gems. I just need a three gem match. I don't even need a four gem match, right? And I should be able to kill off the entire enemy team. So there it is. Um, it's a great team. It is 
almost always going to allow you to maintain the turn and not get looped to death by Stellarix or killed by Zogat or Katarisk. You should be able to stand up against them with this team in PvP. All right, let's see if I can get Bork going here. There we go. We got Bork. Now destroy those gems. I have alignment for my troop. There we go. We have a three gem match. And I think I showcased this team before on a video when I was speaking about Kronos when it was originally added to the game. But um, it seems as if players were not paying attention to it and they just got sidetracked by how powerful Stellarix was and, you know, got blinded by the power for that troop. But as you guys can see, I'm killing Stellarix right here it, it, with this team in Central Spire and I'm gaining a decent amount of VP while doing so. So if you're struggling in the outer areas or in that middle region where you have the color restrictions, remember that you always have this area to fall back on and use it as an area to gain a lot of VP or the necessary VP that you might need to get your, your rewards. All right, let's go. See if I can get a three gem match anywhere. There we go. We got one. Let's do that again. Do we have more? And if we don't have it, we can definitely cast the second half of the spell. It can be risky, but we can still do so. Let's cast the first off, first half of the spell first. See if we get some more purple gems on the board. And not yet. Let's see. Let's try it now. There we go. We got it. We got the curse. There we go. And this is the Stellarix team that we're going up against. And we're faring well so far. Of course, you know, RNG can turn around and end up biting us in the behind. But nonetheless... We're going to try. There we go. See, the Elementalist class is helping us out while we're gaining that plentiful amount of extra turns, man. This is why I encourage persons. See? Seemed like things were not going to work out, right? But the fact that I'm able to loop, maintain the turn, I'm able to kill Stellarix, it takes more turns, of course. But as you guys can see, I'm not losing fights, right? Which is the most important thing. You want to be winning fights, not losing them. All right, let's go for some explosions here. There we go. We got mana for the troops. We just need one alignment here. We didn't get anything. Let's cleanse this off. Very good. Can we have alignment? Yes, we do. We just need one three gem match. No four gem matches right there. One three gem match. That's it at the top. Cast Kronos. Bork again. Get one three gem match right here. We also have one over here. That's it. That's it. I've just killed out <laughs> a very powerful team right there. And um, they barely got a turn. This is a 90 VP battle. Okay, let's see if we can win this one real quick. Then I'm going to end this video. And hopefully you guys can make use of this team, man. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to make videos here that are going to be helpful um, to every single player. Not just to, you know, the elite players, but every single player. And hopefully this is helpful to every single player. Because... This is very hard to acquire. I'm going to admit it. This is very hard to acquire Stellarix. But this is not so hard. If there's a drift, Drifting Sands week, you have an opportunity to gain this troop. Or if you purchased it in the campaign, there was an opportunity to gain this troop. As well as if it popped up in a Soul Forge, there was an opportunity to craft this troop. So here you go. There it is for you guys. Hopefully you can make use of this team and stop Stellarix and the Wand of Stars from whooping your behind over and over again in PvP. Right. As I said before, this is a central spire team. This is not a team for the outer areas or the color restricted areas. This is a team for central spire. All right, guys, hopefully you found this video helpful and informative. Wow, that was 122 VP. That's nice. All right, this is the team once again. Borg 3000 at the top of the team um, with his metal beak spell destroying gems creating those bomb gems um chronos is on the team as well for those hourglass gems mainly and secondly he is enchanting all allies and that can prove to be very very useful on a team like this the wand of stars is here for a potential cleanse if you might need it along with that it's disabling the entire enemy team with that elemental force final trait and even at the start it's freezing a random enemy at the start of battle with the snap freeze talent and then leprechaun is back at the team for fast mana i think majority of the battles that you're going to be facing you're going to get some green gems on the board so leprechaun is going to be helping you out and whatever storm the enemy is using 
you can definitely make use of it because you have the Wand of Stars here and you have every single mana color available on your team. Remember, guys, hit that like button and comment to let me know what you guys think about this team. And yeah, if there's any adjustments that you think I could make on these videos or possibly on this team, drop in the comment section. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.